Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with uh, Ask PYS, our little series about uh, figuring out, making sense of all this complicated stuff on boats. So we've got a question from a fellow boater. And he's asking, Jeff, I'm installing solar panels on my boat. Good choice. It's not a gimmick. Solar panels definitely work. Can you tell me where the fuse is? Before the battery or after the controller? Um, so the solar controller itself is going to be connected to the battery and the fuse needs to be connected right at the unswitched distribution. Remember that concept? We bring it all the time. Effectively, if you had a no unswitched distribution, then you would actually put the fuse from the solar control to the battery at the battery. Why? Because the battery has unlimited power. I mean, not unlimited, but certainly more than anything can handle on your boat, right? You can have a dead short having a thousand amps between a positive and negative post on a battery. So what's really important here is you want to make sure that the positive wire leaving the positive post or the unswitched positive distribution has a fuse that is sized appropriately for the wire, the controller, and the panel, right? And so you've put the fuse right at the beginning of the circuit. And the beginning of the circuit on a solar panel install is actually the battery, not the solar panel. Some controllers actually have a fuse right in it. So in this instance, there's a fuse here, but that fuse is between the controller and the panel. So there's actually two fuses, one between the controller and the panel and another one from the battery to the controller. So it's important to put the fuse to the unswitched distribution or the positive post on the battery. That was a good question from Nono. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask it below or use our contact form on our website. Support us to keep this channel ad free. Happy to donate my time because I'm a boater too, but help us offset the cost of doing these videos by donating via PayPal or potentially buying some of our merch on our store. And don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you can keep having these weekly and we're producing almost four videos a week now. And thanks again for watching.